Well, barring any last minute technical problems, NASA's new moon rocket is taking off on a very important test flight Monday. The crewless rocket will attempt a six week trip around the moon. Monday's launch would follow several setbacks that put NASA's Artemis mission to return humans to the moon years behind schedule. But if all goes according to plan, NASA could launch a test flight with humans on board as early as 2024. The goal is to land on the lunar surface by 2025. Now a quarter million or more people on the ground in Florida's Space Coast are planning to watch the rocket blast off. Forrest Saunders with our sister station in Tampa Bay tells us more. You don't have to be at Cape Canaveral to see Florida's love and appreciation of space flight. You can find it almost anywhere, including here in Tallahassee at the Challenger Learning Center. The Artemis One mission on Monday, just the latest highlight in what's become a resurgence of interest. As the SLS Orion readies for launch around the moon, Hundreds of thousands are expected to see it. NASA estimates nearly a quarter million in and around the Kennedy launch site. Most of our high profile launches tend to typically hit the 100,000 mark at a minimum, and it just goes from there. Megan Happel with Space Coast Tourism says there's a new golden age of interest in launches, which started back in 2020. <laughs> That's when American astronauts return to space on an American craft. Being able to be here for these historic moments is something that people are craving. And there's no shortage of supply. That's thanks to aggressive growth in the commercial space sector. <laughs> Florida had 31 of the nation's 38 liftoffs in 2021 alone. We had more launches last year into orbit than we've had at any time. And we're almost ready to double that this year. Dale Ketchum works with the state's Aerospace Development Agency, Space Florida. It estimates Florida's industry has more than 130,000 employees, 17,000 companies, and a $19 billion economic impact. There's plenty of room to grow, too, even if it's not immediately clear what that growth will look like. Not unlike how the Internet started. And it was a new capability. We didn't re really know what people were going to do it, with it. Uh, and now we can't live without it. And Florida can't live without a good launch. For many, it's more than economic, more than historic. It's just nostalgic. As it was decades ago, the Sunshine State is still the space state. All right, let's talk a few specifics. The SLS Orion is scheduled to launch at 8.33 a.m. on Monday. It has a two-hour window for rain delays. If we do get liftoff, it's going to take the craft about three weeks to circle the moon and return to Earth. That's the latest out here at the Capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.